log locations um, for applications. So this is for applications. So there's application logs, and this could be uh, various things, um, like for, uh, um, what do I want to say, for doing the, an example would be the download plugin. Uh, so that would be a, a, an application, and we have specific logs, logs for that. Uh, so you need to take a look at those sometimes. Uh, the relay. Uh, relay logs are very important. Um, this is where a lot of the gathering is going to happen, too, uh, because your BigFix server is going to do the gathering for you. And again, if it can't connect to the database, um, that's a bad thing. So it doesn't talk directly to the database, but it's uh, close enough that it looks like it's talking directly to the database. Um, the big fix relays uh, prior to 956, you could just point your uh, browser uh, to this relay to this URL uh, relay name colon the port, and you could either say relay diagnostics or RD and it would bring back um, lots of information about your relay. Um, after at 956 and above, um, you need to, as a minimum, you have to turn on, set this uh, setting in, uh, BEZ Relay Diagnostics Enable, set it to one. If you have relays that are internet facing, I strongly recommend you set all four of these. Uh, make it as hard as possible for bad people to get into your environment. So once that's set, this is the type of data that you're going to see. Uh, you have all of the relay control settings, how your HTTP server is set up, the gather settings, uh, lots of information in here. You click on the plus, and I'm not going to cover that here because it's just too much uh, to cover in this short amount of time. Um, what I do want to tell you is that I did have to run this one time. I uh, environment that I was in, uh, I couldn't gather any of the OS deployment stuff. None of that was gathering. And uh, worked with my ISP and found out that for whatever reason, the URL that BigFix was using, uh, they deemed that as bad. And so they were throwing it away. Um, so they uh, changed their uh, ACLs, and then I was able to start uh, do a gather. But I didn't know about that until I actually looked at this uh, site gathering page. Big Fix console. Um, there's a few things you can do with the console. Um, uh, by default, uh, the console is going to update every 15 seconds. Uh, so you can change that here. Um, and caching is uh, is important on the uh, for the endpoint. Uh, it really helps load all of the sites, especially if you've got a lot of sites. Uh, you want that cache, uh, full cache on the disk, uh, especially when it's um, uh, for slower networks and you have fast disks, fast disks, um, or partial cache if you got a fast network and fast disk. So it can always go and get that information. Um, you can do some console logging. Uh, don't recommend this, leaving it on for a long period of time, but sometimes you might need to do some of this to, for support. And this is how you enable those console logs. Uh, deployment health check dashboard. So there's a number of dashboards now that give you relay health, console health, uh, big fix server health, agent health, deployment optimization, and then uh, for power people, uh, wake on land information. And you can see these uh, pretty much under dashboards, best support. Here's a relay health check dashboard. Uh, so you can check that out. Uh, lots of good information in here. Uh, how many endpoints per relay, relay cache, etc. cetera. Uh, you can learn more about troubleshooting by following this link. And that will take us through uh, the topics that we needed to cover today. Thank you very much.